What's it like taking prisoners to funerals? Oh, God. Is that hard work? It's funny you should say this, you know. I um, I did about three funerals. The first funeral that I did, bearing in mind the first escort that I ever did on at Long Martin when I was in black and white, this is the first experience of taking somebody outside the walls. We had to go to a council estate in Brighton and this council estate was rough, a bit like where I was brought up, to be honest. So we take him there, and I had a word with him before, and said, look, you know, you've got to stay on the cuff. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And the SO at the time, I got on all right with him, but I didn't know him that, that well. He didn't come down the gym or anything, so he was off a different wing, more than SO on my wing. So he gets there, and we're visiting his dying grandma, so his grandma's home, we go in, there's lots of people coming in and out, his friends, and they're starting to put a bit of pressure on, saying, let him off the cuff, it's his grandma, you should let him off the fucking cuff, what are you doing? So the SO said, look, I'm cuffed to him. I said, I'm not coming off the cuff. And he said, I think we should, you know, let him have five minutes. I said, no, I'm, I'm not coming off the cuff. I just had a bad feeling about it. I didn't trust him. Didn't have really a good rapport with him, and... It was a bit of a scrawl. Anyway, on the way back to the prison after the visit, he kept asking to go and visit his sister. I said, no, nah, we're, we're going back. We got back. Three weeks later, he has another escort to see his grandma. The SO lets him off the cuff and he's off. He did a runner. And I just thought then, so bearing in mind that, that was my first and only real experience at Parkhurst, I land at Long Martin, I've done a few years now, and I train with this lad called Pedro, notorious prisoner and from a notorious area of Birmingham called Answorth, really rough area, where the prison is really. And I don't know whether you know, even some of the prison officers at Birmingham have been shot at coming out of the gate there. So it's a notorious area. But Pedro I really got on with, had a rapport with him, trained with him, and his training partner, Felix Fraser, they called him. So I got on with him and had a rapport. They came down the gym one day and um, Fraser always trained with uh, Pedro. So I said to him, where's Pedro this morning? And he said, ah, he's not down. He said, his son's been shot. I said, oh. And he said, um, he said, so he's had some bits like he's, he's applied to go to a funeral and they won't let him go. So I said, oh. I said, who's he applying to? He said, security, the number one, they've knocked him back. He said, because it'll be in Answorth, which is a rough area. So I said, I'll see what I can do for him. I said, I don't know whether it'll work, but I'll go and have a word with security. I knew the governor in security quite well. Rob Lutz, what he was called. So I went down, I said, Rob, I said, Pedro. I said, I train with him regular. I said, I think I know him well enough to be all right. I volunteered to take him on the escort to the funeral. And he said, look, Phil, he said, we, we tried, we, we spoke to the police, they're not prepared to man it. He said, they're not, they don't want to go anywhere near it. And I said, well, that's a good thing, isn't it? He went, yeah, I'm going to laugh. I said, well, no, I said, because I'd rather take him and not have the police around. I said, because I just antagonise the situation. I said, we should keep it low profile. I know a, a PEI who'll come with me. I've spoke to him. He'll volunteer to do it with me. And he said, right, he said, if you get an SO that'll volunteer for it, I'll let you do it. But it's your, on your head be it. He said, if it, if it goes wrong, it's your job. So I said, all right then. So he like, looked at me, thinking that I'd back out. So the next day I saw Pedro, I said, look, I've gone and had a word, Pedro. They're going to let you go, I think. And he went, well, I've been told not. I said, well, I volunteered to do it with you. I said, I'll get on with you. I said, as long as you give me your word that, you know, I said, I know where it's at. In Armsworth, it's going to be rough, it's going to be... And I said, to be quite frank, I'm probably going to be the only white man there. And he said, he said, all right. He said, you know, you'll not get any problem from me, Phil. He said, I just respect that you've done that for me. And I'll go to the funeral. 
So anyway, I got clearance on the morning of the funeral, went to get him. Me and my, my pal, uh, Ralph Taylor, had a word. He said, I'll volunteer to do, because we had to go to the Chapel of Rest as well. He said, I'll volunteer to be on the cuff in the Chapel of Rest, and you do the rest of the funeral. So I said, OK. So he goes to the Chapel of Rest, and Pedro's a, a, a tough man, really. So anyway, before that, we're coming out of the reception. We, the van pulls out of the prison. I'm talking to Pedro, saying, I oh, know it's going to be a tough day. and I know it's going to be hard. I'll, I'll be cuffed to you. Explain the what will be going on throughout the day. I'll be up to him at the funeral when he's going to the ground in the service. He said, that's fine, Phil. He said, for today, Phil. He said, anyway, I'll think of you as a mate anyway. He said, but for today, he said, I'll just introduce you as Phil, my mate. So I said, that's fine, man. He said, just do whatever you've got to do. I said, all that I ask is you just respect what I've done for you and you come back with us at the end of the day. And I said, and also, we've been told we can't take you to the wake. He said, that's fine. He said, I don't want to go to the wake anyway. So I said, OK. So we're pulling out of the prison and, he, and all of a sudden I hear him go, for fuck's sake. So Pedro, are you all right? He goes, Phil, he said, um, and you can see he was agitated. He said, I've left, and he said, I've made something for my lad that will go in the coffin and in the ground. He said, I've fucking left it in reception. And the asshole said, we can't go can't go back for it and I said I said this could make a break of the day really I said Pedro I'm going to see if I can go back so the van stayed there I got him to go on the radio the driver and said look I'm coming back in I'm going to reception and I picked up the little thing that he'd made like a little cross with the uh, wove some fabric around quite a pretty little thing so I brought it back I said Pedro I've got it I'll give it to you when we let you out after and when we get there. Okay. So we get so I give him the, the cross and everything. We get to Chapel of Rest. Ralph's cuff to him, goes into the Chapel of Rest, and I just hear him break down. And it was all, all awful to hear him just breaking down in there. And I'm thinking as well of Ralph being in that situation with him, because you're cuffed to him, you don't, you don't know his son, but you're having to watch him break down like that. So he came out, we swapped over on the cuffs and I went on the cuffs and said, you OK, Pedro? And he said, yeah. We went to Hansworth uh, for the funeral. They had a big steel band playing. They had a horse-drawn carriage, massive funeral. But all of Hansworth just stopped, uh, mainly black community. I don't think, not that it matters, but I think I was, we was the only three white lads there. In the, in the church or anywhere to be seen. We goes in for the service and I'm cuffed to him. A few people came over and true to his word, whenever they came over, he all said, this is Phil, and introduced me just like I was there as part of the family, really. So to be honest, it was quite humbling the way he did it. So we had that, we comes out, and then unbeknown to me, we go over and it's part of the culture that, they dig some of the soil and put some of the soil in and the steel band they're playing. So we get over there and said, Phil, he said, I'm, I'm supposed to like, put the soil in. So I said, as long as you don't mind me doing it with you, we'll do it. So I went over and we both puffed together, put the, some soil in together. I gave him a, th a t I said, are you all right? He said, yeah. A few of the big, Gangsters, local gangsters came over and said, Gov, he's coming to the wake. I said, no, I said, we can't go to the wake, man. And Pedro just stopped it there and he said, look, he's, he's the reason that I'm here. We're not going to no wake. Don't ask again and make sure nobody else asks. With that, it all went smoother. We goes back. Um, I got called to the governor's office a few days later given a £50 voucher for what we did. And uh, probably about two years later was the next time I he heard of Pedro and I got a long letter off him just thanking me for everything I did. 